So the last piece that you'll want to get set up on your phone and uh, familiarize yourself with is the scheduling application. So in your first text message that you're going to receive, it's going to be um, this new employee guide. Uh, these are the steps that you're following through with. The third step is the, or the fourth step is the scheduling application. So there's a link right there that you're going to want to click on. And then right away, we'll just go ahead and save this link to your phone. So if you click on the bottom row in the middle button that has the square with an arrow pointing up through it, click on that and then go up to add to home screen. I'm not sure how it works on Android, but I know it's some, they have some similar feature. So you would just click add to home screen, crew schedule, click add. And then I would just take this and uh, put it inside my work folder. So I already have it in there, but we'll go back in here and kind of walk you through what to, uh, what's important in here. So on the top heading, it has your payroll tab, uh, reviews link, standard operating procedures, uh, vehicle insurance, and then a referral bonus. So I'll kind of just walk through each one of these. So the payroll tab is going to be um, the most recent pay period is at the very top. All of these down below are all past pay periods. Um, so that'll be the total amount paid. The top portion up here is hours that were worked uh, hourly when you're at a team meeting or a shop meeting and then the project portion is where it's uh, the piece rate system. And then over on the, to the right of that, we have reviews. After every single job, the foreman of the crew has the customer fill out um, a questionnaire and that's how we base our um, bonuses, a quality bonus. So you would click in the middle link here that says Google form questions you would fill out the customer's name, their work performed, and then you would hand your phone over to the client and have them fill out the rest of the uh, form here and submit it. Now, if we go to the answers, this is where it's gonna show up um, what your rating was, and then we'll base that as far as uh, your quality bonus. So if you get five out of five, you get 100% uh, of the quality bonus. So let's go back to the schedule. Standard operating procedures. This is where all of the equipment training, uh, the service training for each one of our service lines will be. Uh, tool bags, what's in your personal tool bag, your crew uh, lead tool bag. Um, right now we're in the new employee introduction at the very top where it says software setup. That's, um, that's the very first stage that you're going to be in. Um, and then you're going to want to go through all of the new employee introduction. Uh, that'll be your first day of work. We'll be going through the shop layout, safety training. Um, you'll be handed your personal tool bag and a foreman will be handed their crew lead tool bag. And then you'll have to take a test. So as you take a test, um, your test score status at the very top where it says view test score status, you would click that and that's going to show you um, what your status is as far as um, what you still need to get done before you can start work. Go back again. You click on vehicle insurance. It's going to have the vehicles that we have and the insurance paperwork. So if you were to get pulled over for <clears throat> whatever reason, you can hand that over. Referral bonus, that is for employees uh, that refer to another employee uh, to possibly work for us. So if you click on that, it's going to give you more details about that. But it's um, what we do is we have a 30-day payout that's $200, 90 days, $300, 180 days is $400. That's if they stay with us for any length of time, um, 30 days, 90 days, and 180 days. So we would pay you that bonus if you referred us to somebody that was a, a good person to work for the company. Now, if you scroll down, this is gonna be the actual job list. So uh, crew number one controlled by Fabronio. Uh, he has these jobs in his queue. Um, 
the customer name here is the same name that's going to be have to be get inputted into T sheets. Uh, that's how we know uh, what hours are being worked on that job. We scroll right here. It just kind of gives us um, status of the job, whether we've collected a deposit or if we still need color information. Um, then it has the work order, the payout status, and the job payout. So I'll go over that a little bit later here, um, but we'll go over uh, the work order. So if we click on that, it's going to give us all the details for this job. So it's going to give you the client address. The job address is always the most important because in some cases it could be a general contractor that we're working for. And the client address is not actually the job address that we're performing work at. So you always want to go to the job address. Um, so at the below the picture, it's always going to tell you an area and what we're going to do for that. Um, that area. So it'll say the process is mass trim, set draw cloths, repair large holes. Um, that's always customized on every single job and it'll tell you what products we're using and the color that's assigned to the job. It's going to show you um, the number of colors. Uh, right now there's just one color um, and then how many coats of paint that we're applying to the surfaces. And then down here it's going to tell you how many gallons of the type of paint. So we have Sherman Williams paints, that's a SWP, and it's the Promar 200 eggshell. And we have two gallons uh, bid out for this. At the very bottom, it also says grand total number of hours bid. So that's 10 hours and one minute. So that's the number of hours that this job is paid out at. If you go write one more column, we have job video. Um, it's also going to have pictures, uh, possibly if there was any pictures that were needed. If you click on that link, it's going to uh, give you more media. And this will be a, a video walkthrough of the job where I talk about any details that were necessary. Um, after I walk through with the client, I will walk through by myself with the phone or iPad, and I will explain exactly what we need to do for that job. The garage entry here. And I'll also give you a heads up as far as what kind of equipment you might need. Go back to the uh, schedule here. So these jobs are in for Bronio's crew uh, Q, and then we have Oscar's uh, crew. He's just getting started again. And then we have the recently completed. So these are the jobs that are gonna get processed for this payroll, this period. Um, I don't, I haven't uh, yet processed the payout, but if we go down, these are past completed jobs over the last couple of months. So I'll go and show you kind of what that looks like. So you can see like Harry McGlenahan, if you go right, all the way to the right pane, the right column, where it says payout, pay that's gonna give you information about how much uh, that job was paid. And I'll actually go over the specifics of uh, employee pay and experience level in a different video. Um, but that pretty much sums up the scheduling system and, and how we use it.